Hello YouTube viewers, hello eBay sellers. I have been making a series of videos documenting how eBay doesn't put all the information that has happened in the last selling period, 15 days for completed listings, and um, now I'm finding that items I'm paying them to list are not showing up in the results page using the keywords for those products. We're in uh, Google Chrome. Today is the 4th of June. It's now almost 4 o'clock. I live in Las Vegas. You can see here by just left top center that I'm not signed into my account. We're not going to sign into my account for this test. I want to view my product as everybody else looking through eBay for a similar product as mine. I want to see it how they would see it. So we're going to enter in some keyword terms here. Motor, roller, uh, leather, phone, case. Now this is a product I just sold uh, yesterday or the day before. I'm checking to make sure I spelt everything correctly and you should too because important for our test. Let's search this. You can see here at the left that there's 865 products available using the keyword terms Motorola leather phone case. What we want to do is find my username on this page to display the listing that I'm paying eBay to display. So we're going to use the find command. Chrome it pops down in the upper right corner here and we're going to enter into it my username new underscore image it's already telling me I'm not on this page but I could be on other pages so we're going to go ahead and continue to enter the username new underscore image underscore imports yeah that looks correct to me so let's go ahead and uh, click the up and down arrows just to scroll through just in case you know I'm trying to prove to you that eBay doesn't always display your listings and mostly that when you need to verify if your listings being displayed you gotta think outside the box like not being signed into your account when you do it because if you're signed into your account there's a great chance that there are cookies or user controls that have been loaded onto your computer that will bring you back to a previously visited page we're going to the end of page we're at 200 items per view, page view, and that's good. This would be quick. Let's do this control find again. Scroll through the list. No results found in the page. On to page three. Let it load, let it load. Find command. Okay. And I clicked back and forth several times trying to make sure no results on that page, moving to page 4 find command down arrow a couple times, back a couple times again double checking in the page, last page page 5 let it finish loading control F brings up your find command scroll down, scroll up no results on this page. Okay, so I'm going to take you into my account here in a moment where we're going to look and show you that I am uh, listing this page. One more time though, to the end of page, just so you can verify. There is no other pages. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to come up here to the completed listings, which you will find over here in the left hand column and down towards the bottom. There's a tab that says show only and completed listings here at the bottom. Click on it. Okay, we have 500 results for completed listings. You can see that here. And we're going to run through this find command again here real quick. Check back forth and the results in the page. Next page, page 2. Bring up the find command, scroll down, scroll up, scroll down, 
nothing absolutely here in the page page three last page find command scroll down scroll up nothing here so a product that I'm listing doesn't show up in results for the uh, most pertinent keywords in the title of that listing and a product that I did sell is not showing up in the completed listings it's the same product um, we're signing into my account now again I'm at new underscore image underscore imports and we're going in to see my seller's view um, yeah I was going to run through the competing listings again but I decided not to let's just go and look into my seller's view and this is the page where I have sold things you can see here by the title this is my sold page and these are all the things I have sold in since I've been selling in this account we're going to go and find this item which is just right down here this one right here here's the title you can see the keywords that we chose Motorola leather phone case quick so you know I'm not splicing anything date time is just after four o'clock okay um, let's go look into this listing so you can see it also also note what I'm selling for $1.99 here and like I said we're going to take a look at the listing page shipping is paid for by the buyer that's important for you to note again here's our keyword terms Motorola leather phone case just like we did in the search when we weren't in the account but now that I'm into my account and we try to um, do this search there should be some kind of cookies or user control set and so it'll take me back and my item will probably pop up Motorola leather phone case here notice how many items on a results page 865 and I'm checking my spelling and everything on that string I entered into the search and that's correct bring up find command results on this page one at the top where it indicates that I'm signed in again okay so not on this page let's go to the end of page and five pages to check through like this find command the one at the top and that seems to be the only occurrence in the page page three find command couple times back and forth like this okay not there going to end the page page four find command first occurrence and only occurrence at the top of page end of page last page page five bring up the find command first occurrence top of page and only occurrence okay so there's no cookie set on this page yet and well an item that I am in fact active with right now is not showing up in the listings one more time to verify that that product is active we're going over here to my active page this is my account view looking at items I have available for sale and we're going to find that item and that item is right here okay we're going to we're going to check this um, item ID number here which ends in 0877 we're going to do that on the way back out because that's got to be important too let's uh, note here that in this column this is the quantity view you can see here that underneath that varied 
uh, quantity available right here. Okay. We want to come down here and look at that product to see that I have eight of those products available for sale right there. Okay. Um, today's date for you. Same date. We're about four minutes later than last time I brought that date stamp up. Okay. Um, it's just not coming up in the results. And this is ashamed. It's like I should have checked this over six months ago when, when I was listing on this account. I'm going back into my uh, sold items page and um, we're going to go look at that item right there and we're going to look at its number. There it is at the end. You can see it 0877. So that item that I have available for sale is also this item that did sell on this date. But at this time, it's not showing in the results page using those keyword terms that should bring this item up. If I do this in Firefox, I'm going to get a different result. When I'm signed out, I'll get a result that's similar to this. It won't be found, but when I sign into my account, I will be able to pull it up because of the cookie user controls will take me back to the page we visited. Here's something that I could do as a trick. What we can do is we can um, copy this title here and take this and put it into the search bar. I know this ain't no fun, right? I mean, obviously, it should pull it up, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to take out this word sell and we're going to take out all these serial numbers make sure that there's only one space in between each word and we're going to search it 865 products and we're going to use the find command and we're going to find all the currencies of my username and BAM there it is so you can see that it should be in the results and I had to go through extensive amount of data manipulation to get it to do that and that is not anything any buyer will ever do that is an unfair practice eBay has done to me and I'm sure it's happening to many of you what you're going to need to do is go back and check your accounts do similar if you can use an absolute other computer that somebody else's to go back and look at your products go use another account. If you have two accounts, use your second account to look back at your first account. Um, you can use controls like the find command. Control F, that'll help you. Up down page to get to the end of the page real quick, use control N. Control home, those take you to the top and the bottom real quick, just like this. Um, make sure that you get your seller user ID shown in the listings here and you got to do that in your customized view open your customized view and you can get into the customized view even if you're not signed in and while you're here what you want to do to uh, shorten the amount of search time you have to do is set all your items per page right here like I have mine at 200 normally eBay is going to start you off at 50 make sure you get that set to 200 also come up here to seller information and make sure you have all these checked. That way your username should show up and everybody else's user's name should show up here in the results listings. And then when you use the find command, that's going to find every occurrence of that string on the page and that's how you're going to find yourself. I'm making more videos testing this. Next video we're testing this in Firefox. Thanks for watching.